I have one. I'm getting myself something up to me. Something's not horrible. If y'all don't know Max, Max is my dog. And let me tell y'all something. I <clears throat> do. Tell y'all something. I do drink water. Here, look, this is my dad. I'm not in the kitchen. I'm in the living room. But anyway, I do drink water. Excuse me. I'm so picky. <sighs> I'm so picky that I only drink water at certain times a day. It's not that. Just this. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> I like. Uh, I do drink water, but. It's just certain times of the day and certain times of the night. I drink water a lot. At school, I drink water because at school, my, my teachers took us on a trip to CVS and we picked out of our, no, to Target, and we picked out of our own water bottle to have, so now we have, we all have a water bottle at school, for school, <coughs> school thing, so I do drink water through school at lunch. But the only time I don't drink water is in the morning and at night. At night I don't drink water because I don't feel like waking up all hours of the night going to the bathroom. And in the morning I don't drink water because I have an hour or more bus ride to get to school. So, yeah, yeah, so after that, <laughs> that really felt, oh my goodness, that really felt fast because I haven't had no lessons all today, only this morning. But anyway, we will we will go to school tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so tomorrow is my half a day at school. Every Wednesday is my half day at school. And for the 
for, for this Friday. I'm just feeling nervous and anxiety with people that have autism and on the autism spectrum. If they have a <clears throat> doctor's appointment coming up or something important, they will be nervous like for me this Friday at two I have an eye appointment. This Friday I have an eye appointment and <clears throat> for people, I'm not going to say for normal people because we all have our challenges just like my mom keeps telling me. Yeah, just like my mom keeps telling me, we all have our challenges. But some people challenges so up more than others. So with people that have autism, they have anxiety levels up to the top and they get nervous fast and easily so I've been to the that eye doctor before I've been to other eye doctors and everything else that the <coughs> so yeah so it's just with people that have autism have a hard time coming down and everything like that so they take stuff they take things to the doctor's appointment, dentist's appointment, or eye appointment. They take stuff to not only distract them from the rating, to one, keep their minds off of it, and two, to make them wait patiently because excuse me for my eye appointment for the no for the really for the eye appointment air appointment and everything for the doctor's office for the air eye Important, you have to wait, except if you have an appointment, if you have a schedule, you have to wait. So, with me, I have scheduled stuff, okay? With me, okay, if it's scheduled like that. Two o'clock. I will literally have it fit every come ten minutes early at one fifty. I will get mad have it fit if we get there an hour later at three o'clock. I will have a fit if we get there at 1, if we get in the office at one fifty nine. It's just those little things that 
with slow artistic artistic people off. So this is a stuff to bring um that I'm gonna do bring with me. I'm gonna do um bring my tablet fully charged up and let me show you what um what let me show you what um spot I set this tablet on and I'm gonna do bring that. We got that holder sits on your lap <coughs> and you watch TV shows, whatever. You do videos, whatever. So I'm starting. Yeah. I'm starting. What time is it? Oh, I still have two hours to sleep for bedtime. So anyway, anyway, I'm starting to bring a book bag, a book bag everywhere I go. This book bag. It's not for school. <coughs> this book bag is for my sensory stuff and everything. So I'm not I'm not wearing the book bag now. I'm gonna do stuff wearing the book bag in February. February either the February of 2017 or early or like December or January. I don't know yet. But yeah. My whole team my mom my mom my therapist at school is talking with each other to see like like to see like everything like yeah so so after that, yeah. So after, so yeah. but after that, yeah. So. Um, nervous about Friday because with people that have special needs, more people that have autism, they can't go nowhere without having a sensory overload or loud noises oh someone said someone look at me or whatever or whatever so I will try my hardest to calm down so I hope you like like comment and subscribe Comment down below if you are fearful of going to the doctor's office.